Well, you guys, we have a baby boy. This is Micah James. He's shielding himself from the light right now. <laughs> it's getting dark outside, so I had to turn on my camera light. But um, I was just going to kind of tell you guys the story because we did not have time to get the camera out and film the birth because it happened so fast. I went to the midwife this morning. She checked me, I was at a two, I was not thinned, I was not having any contractions. We had talked about, you know, maybe some things that I could start doing to help move my body along. She gave me some herbs um, that were in a dropper and she gave me one dose of that and she said that big. Um, when I left her house on my way to um, grab lunch and eat with Brian, I started having some little bit more intense contractions, but I could kind of breathe through them, you know, talk, I was still talking and walking through them. Got to the gym and um, sat down and ate lunch with Brian, was on a, a bounce ball and eating. Um, I mean, I was able to eat through some of the contractions that I was having there. I left there and went and got gas, got out, and I was kind of on the way home starting to like, you know, having to hum through the, the contractions. And I thought, well, I'll lay Sayla down for a nap. It was her nap time. And I will go get in the bathtub and maybe they'll go away. Um, because I, I didn't want to keep having them if they weren't going to be the real thing. So I got in the bathtub and they were coming every minute and a half for lasting 30 to 45 seconds. And they were getting very intense, very fast. And I called, I'd maybe been in the bathtub 20 minutes and I called Brian and I told him, I said, I think you need to come home. Honestly, guys, I didn't really think that I was in labor because it was just happening so fast. I just knew that they were not, they were not comfortable at all. And I was going to need help with Sayla. Like I just couldn't do both and she was not going to sleep. So I uh, called him and then as he was on his way there, like they were just, I mean, it was one right after the other. And I couldn't, I was starting, I was like, I can't talk through these. So I texted our midwife, which she told me not to do while, when I was in labor. But then I, I like quickly told Brian, I was like, you need to call Debbie, the midwife, tell her I sent her a picture of my contraction counter. I had not, I thought I did, but I had not. I was just so out of it, I guess. Um, I texted my best friend who was supposed to be there to take pictures and I told her, I said, you may want to head this way. My contractions are really close now. The midwife is, is probably going to come. I called my mom. I quickly said, you may want to head this way. I need some help with Sayla too. And at this point I was like, if this is not the real thing, I don't think I can handle it because these contractions were so intense and so close together. I just, uh, so. Um, as soon as Brian got home, he could tell that I was in like a lot of pain. I was having to like really focus when I was having a contraction. And so he starts setting up the pool. Um, I'm still in the bathtub at this time. He starts setting up the pool and I told him, I said, I don't think that I'm going to make it to the pool. He said, well, I'm going to keep setting it up, you know, just in case you never know. And it's like, okay. And at one point I was like, I think I have to poop. Like I need to use the bathroom. And so I got out and I sat on the toilet and it was just awful. I just had another contraction. I thought I was gonna vomit. I was so nauseous. And so I grabbed, I like got on my hands and knees, had another contraction. I got myself back in the, the water in the tub. And I'm, I'm screaming by this time you guys, like it was, they were so intense. And I was just so shocked that they were happening that fast. And then on one contraction, my water broke. The next contraction, I felt the head. The next contraction, um, I pushed and the head was almost out. The next contraction, the head was completely out. Then the next contraction, the shoulders were out and I pulled my baby up to my chest. That is where you guys um, are going to get to see from uh, where we started filming because I didn't get anything prior to that. So I'll let you guys watch that. Oh my god. You gosh. have to push anything else? Not right now. Oh baby, are you 
Let me see him. Is he crying? Does he need to cry? <laughs> he's breathing. He's fine. Hey, oh, my God. Oh. oh, my God. That was the quickest thing ever. I reckon. Let's say that. Look at a baby brother. I can't get my hair on my face. It's okay. Oh. You guys do whatever you like. Just keep me on the phone. Oh. If you need me, I'm right here. Oh, the baby's breathing fine. It's a boy. You got a brother. Oh. Are you sure it's a boy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, how sweet. Where am I? Straw? Yeah, yeah. Let's get a straw. Oh. Here, you want me to? Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. Yeah, baby, go away. You see this baby? You see your baby brother? Ah, you got a baby brother. You got a baby brother. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't knock that in the water. Oh. Okay, oh my gosh. I'm so glad that was quick. Oh. What awesome, baby. Mm-hmm. Those herbs worked. <laughs> you like them? Wow. Look at him, baby. Look at him. He's so sweet. <laughs> oh, look at the perfect little round head. Oh, oh my gosh. That was fast. <laughs> Not like you. We didn't get the pool blown up. <laughs> I told Ron I didn't think it was going to make it. <laughs> I'll just keep trying in case we needed it. There's no way. Uh -uh. It's a boy, see? Oh my gosh, it is a boy! <laughs> oh my goodness. You think about that, Brian? <laughs> Micah James. That's Look at a brother! Sila yeah. needs a brother because she's tough. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I pushed him out by myself. No, he's just kind of Oh my gosh. Oh, Jeff, I'm gonna go. Is the baby acting like he wants to try to nurse at all? Not really, yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened so fast. I didn't even see it. I'm feeling crampy, but I don't know. Smooching. Do you have a baby? Daddy! <laughs> Here it comes. Uh, okay, push it off. Push, there baby. You go. Uh, oh, okay. You have it. Oh, yeah. It's out. Uh, I don't know. Does he need to pull it out? I need to put it in this place. Uh, bit. Oh, I think it's all the way out. It's down well, under what, close to my what butt. What you need to do, Brian, is Pick that up and put it inside the blue pad. Have your mother-in-law help you. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, it's out. Okay, okay. Oh you my gosh. Okay. Okay, that feels better, doesn't it, girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, now, now put that in a, in a, you can put that bag, put that, put that pad in a bowl if you want. And just kind of try to keep it up above the baby's heart. Do you want me to get a big bowl for you? Yeah, I uh, think there's some, some large bowls and a lot of them are going to be on the far side. They're very, very large. It's so fast. I know. Megan, I can't believe you. I can't wow. believe me either. can't believe it either. I said we need to put this. In a bowl above the yeah, baby's heart, maybe. Uh, Morgan's going to get the bowl. Okay. We'll position it somewhere that can stay. Okay, is it okay that he's foaming at the mouth a little bit? Is that what the new Yes, yeah. That's what he's supposed to do. That, that, that can get rid of all that extra fluid. Okay, just, you know, don't make spaghetti for triple weeks. Okay, guys, I'm not eating out of it. Down and fill your tummy and, and make sure that your uh, your Hard below your belly button. Hard? Yes, your uterus can be hard below your belly button. I don't know. Like, can I push through my skin and it's hard? Yeah. 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 Ye
It feels pretty hard. Okay. Kind of like I got abs or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. Gonna be, gonna be ready to go in about this week. I have a baby boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, you could probably sit there like right here and it would still be above his heart. Yeah, that's. Can't find the clamp for the. Cord. It's in the box somewhere. We couldn't find it. We it dumped it. It was rolled up in the, the what do you think? Rolled up in the paint. Yeah, the mesh paint. <laughs> Got panties, uh, condoms. Uh, 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 I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. It feels pretty good. She, she, she says it feels okay. You need so. hold it for no, okay. what? It's, it's not, not urgent. Put your knees together if you can. If you would. Put your knees together. Okay. Maybe she put it on the dress. I didn't even get it. Like, they may be coming out. I got pictures afterwards, but it happened so fast. I know it. Well, when you called me, I thought, "What? Well, she sounds like she's in a lot of pain." I know. I was like, well, "This has to be it. That's that's too fast, too hard." I can't to freaking believe you had a boy. Oh my god! I can't Congratulations, <laughs> I can't believe it's a boy either. I said I'm gonna walk outside let them know what's going on so they don't think I'm in here socializing. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. We'll get, the, we'll get some food in you, Megan, and, uh, and we'll, uh, well, I literally just one. ate, like, not long ago. Okay. He, the baby looks a little white to me. Does he, should he be? Well, he's pink on his. Can, if the baby looks white, you it's can rub your, if you're worried about it, you can rub your fingers up and down. The baby's fine and he's pink green. Okay. His pink on his chest. His chest is pink. Oh, that's what matters. That's okay. What matters. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad you came fast. I'm so glad you came fast. <laughs> but I don't, I really don't want to do this again. Well. That's what she said the first the time. Only one you have to do. <laughs> that's what she said the first time. Yeah, this is number two. She said that the last time, and now she's on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's a boy. We can't either. Congrats. Thanks. Oh. How precious. Well, good job, Mama. You just did that without anything, huh? Oh. Just more. I yeah. screamed I said I don't know why I didn't get an epidural. That was fast. <laughs> That was really fast. Oh. I'm so glad Brian made it home. I'm so glad you he home. hasn't been home, but maybe 20 minutes. And Mom didn't get here. He just had him, like just now. How long? Yeah, he's, I don't even know what time it was. Well, it's, now it's it was, two. Uh, it's, it was, hold on a minute, I'll tell you. It's 2:20 right now. Oh, I, I won't be able to tell you until I get off the phone, but it was about when I was. The baby's already been born. When I looked at it, it was uh, 2.07. Okay. He's not even 20 minutes old. Hey, you, you can take your own number. Okay. 2.07 sounds good. <laughs> you said, you got his head. And I was like, I was like, oh no, Debbie's not here. And then I was like, there he is. Or, I didn't know what that thought was. I was like, oh crap, he's got to come out. I felt my water break, and then immediately his head was there, and then, oh, that hurt though, like that, the split seconds, I don't, I don't know if I tore or not, but it's... That was an under an hour, wasn't it? Pretty tender. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were here. Oh, gee, he's so cute. Look what you did. Went and got a baby. I cannot believe you! I just saw you! <laughs> towels! How things change so quickly. Uh, there's a big towel closet. Here on the right. Oh, See, I'm trying to be modest. But my, my hand's definitely full. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big boy. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here.
Yeah, and you sit out there for a sec. <laughs> All right. Oh. I said seven. six. So what's that? Seven. Ten. Seven. Woo! I'm glad you came out today. Huh? <laughs> I said, I'm glad you came out today. I think it got harder from there. <laughs> You want to just put your hand on him right here while I measure his head? Yeah, he'll he'll be much more satisfied. There you go. <laughs> Thirteen and a quarter. Centimeters? In, in, oh, I was like twelve and three quarters. Chest. Twelve and what? Three quarters. I don't remember what Sailor was. 21 and a half. It's a little bit longer. 21. Okay. There you go. 21. 7, 7, 10. Yep. Hi. Hi. I'm going to turn I have his first little outfit in there, so whenever. Well, I'm not going to put anything on him. I'm just going to get his temperature, put a diaper on him, and give him to you. Okay. You want to hold his little hands down to the side so I can listen to his chest? Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Hey, Bert, we can that I think you just hit the flight button. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's going to be so cold. Okay, I'm going to teach you this trick. You have to get used to changing a boy. Yeah. When you um, when you when you put this diaper on, like this, girls pee down, boys pee up. Make sure you point that down, and then put the diaper on. Says a mom of five boys. And then pull this down, and this up. Okay. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed that birth story um it like i said was crazy there's a mat or something flying next to this probably came in the door but brian is out um brian is out going to get me a, a stool softener because i've had a little bit of constipation the last couple days so um, it's not a laxative, it's not going to help me go, it's just going to make it easier to go when I finally do go. Um, I have already peed the postpartum part of this, like my body does not feel near as bad as it did when I had Taylor. Um, way, way, way better. The only bad thing is these uterine contractions, like anytime he nurses um, or he cries or anything like that, my uterus starts contracting and those are very painful. Um, I'm taking 800 milligrams of ibuprofen every four hours. I've been using a heating pad for any time it's cramping. Um, yeah, so I, I'm so shocked and excited to have our little baby boy. I knew this entire time it was a boy, even when our midwife slipped up and told us at 14 weeks that she thought it was a girl. Um, she told me it was a little bit early, but she was wrong at that one. And then, of course, after the, the, that ultrasound, she knew, but she didn't tell me anything after that. So it was a, a really big surprise, and I was so excited. And this is Micah James. He weighed 7 pounds, 10 ounces. He was 21 inches long. Yeah, he's just snoozing right now. He latched on perfect. So far, he's been a great baby. He's had several bowel movements, which means that his jaundice levels are going to probably stay down. That's how they do that. So um, with Sayla, that was one of the things we had a big problem with is she wasn't pooping. So her jaundice levels rose very quickly and rose pretty high and we had to go to the NICU. So praying that nothing like that happens with him. So, oh, it's been a whirlwind of a day, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting more videos of our updates soon, my postpartum journey, um, getting back into my healthy living and working out and things like that. So I hope you guys stick around. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment below on how far along you are, how much longer you think you have, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.